welcome back to our journey through hydroponics. I just want to give you a quick update. Um, so if you look here, you can see that um, I've got my couple of my lettuces. I have my iceberg lettuce and my Vivian lettuce. Now um, these were both germinated at the same time. They're both uh, about 11 days old now. And as you can see, um, in one of my first videos, uh, I showed you that the stems had done some stretching. So you can see here on this core plant here and this one, these two stretched quite a bit. Um, this was just one of the mistakes that we learned. Like I said, we're going to make mistakes because it's our first time doing hydroponics. Um, I didn't start any of these lettuces under the grow lights and it makes a huge difference, I think. Um, as you can see, these guys are just flopping over. Um, which basically means that they stretched and I don't know you know if they're even going to make it through all the way because of that their stems are just really weak we're going to try and run them in our hydroponic system in anyways and just kind of compare the quality if they even make it um, we want to make mistakes because we want to be able to compare um, and learn so that next time we don't make the same mistakes um, but yeah, so as you can see, most these two stems are okay, but the rest of these stems are fairly stretched. I'm going to go ahead and run them and just see how they do, but I'm not confident just because of how much they are flopping over. If you come look over here at my nursery, and you look at these, um, these iceberg lettuces, sorry, these two iceberg lettuces here. Now these were started under the grow lights and they're already, they have their second leaves and getting ready to get their third true leaves and they're not nearly as stretched. They're probably because they were stretching for the light sooner than I knew. Same thing here. These, um, these lettuces here are Tom Thumb. I started these directly under the grow lights. As you can see, they're getting their third true leaf and the stems are, again, about half the size of my iceberg lettuces, which indicates that these are going to be strong, healthy stems. Um, and same thing with these bib lettuces. They have uh, already almost their fourth true leaves back here, which they'll be ready to transplant soon. But you can see the difference in the stem height. So definitely was a learning lesson for us. Um, but we are going to try and get these uh, iceberg lettuces ran in our system and hopefully they'll turn out good but if not we'll know for next time what we need to do so okay getting back over to this i want to show you how i'm going to get these ready for um, transplanting so basically you'll know they're ready for transplant when they have some say two to three true leaves or three to four as you can see i've got three true leaves with like a fourth one coming here fourth one coming here fourth one coming here and these ones are just barely sprouting their fourth leaf, but I'm going to go ahead and transplant them because their stems are already so weak. I'm hoping when I get them into my net cups and add the hydrotin that it'll help give the stem a little support. If they don't make it, it's fine with me. I just want to try it out anyways. Um, another thing that you would check for here is that you've got some root growth, and as you can see, um, I've got a nice long root hanging down here and you can see several others. So once the roots start popping out of the bottom of your um, rapid rooter plug, that's another indication that they're ready for transplant. So these guys are pretty much ready to go. Um, they've got some pretty good root growth on the bottom and I'm going to go ahead and start transplanting these. So um, I'm going to show you how I will do this. So if you look here in this bucket here, I've got an, um, my, hydro, my hydrotin. Now this has been cleaned and soaked. I soaked it in some nice pure water um, and then I drained it off so it's ready to go. Um, and this is what I'm going to use to transplant all my lettuces. Now if you look here into our uh, DWC system, we decided to just use plastic cups and poke holes. You can use net baskets. We have net baskets, but I'm going to use them on, I'm not going to use them on this system. Um, I wanted to use these cups because they have a little bit longer bottom to reach down to get my water levels the, where I wanted them to be. As you can see, there's a little bit of water in the bottom. 
as the plant roots grow, we're going to reduce the water level. But as of right now, it's up higher because the roots are still so um, short that they need to be able to get some nutrients. So got everything up and running. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is scoop out a little bit of my hydrotin. Um, just cover it just enough for the first scoop. Just put enough in there to just barely cover the um, where the water line is, okay? And then after that, I'm going to grab one of my lettuce plants. I'm going to grab this one here. Get it out of there and see. Got a few roots coming out. And I'm going to go ahead and stick my plant inside of here and just do the best that you can um, try and get it fairly even in there and then get your hyd hydrotin poured around Oop, gotta be careful there i just about snapped my stem try and be careful not to do what i just did um, but you definitely want to cover as much of it as you can so that you don't have any light penetrating down to where your roots are. Just get enough in there to cover up the base part so that there's no light penetrating down inside. And be very careful to not crush your leaves or your stem. Just trying to get one little one in there. Okay, so that's probably good. And also, as you can see, and this was my hope that by adding my hydro my hydrotin on here, it'll give it a my stems that are weakened like these two a little bit more support, so that hopefully maybe they'll strengthen a little bit. But that will just remain to be seen. So that's basically what how I'm going to transplant uh, my plants. I only have room for four more plants. I'm going to stick with the ones that have the weaker stems right now. We just want to test them out and see how they grow. So I'm not going to video everything. Um, I'm just going to show you how we transplanted the one lettuce, and then I'll just repeat that for the rest of them. And um, I'll come back fairly soon and give you some updates on how they're growing under our in our uh, DWC system. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll be back with you soon.